hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of z if we have z plus 7 is equals to z and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here if the question statement is that first you find uh, just find the values of z or just find the root of z so in order to find the roots of z you need to uh, do these types of steps so here we solve this problem for two methods and in the first method, uh, I can just give you a nice techniques in which uh, you easily get the values of Z. Okay. So, uh, in order to find the values of Z, we need to uh, take the squaring on both of the sides of this, equa this equation. So, in order to find the values of Z, we just use this method. Uh, so, for this, we apply the squaring on both of the sides of this equation. And after that, uh, here we need to use the nice algebraic formula. You know about that if we have a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square. So, according to this, uh, you see here, uh, this is the our a and this is the our b. So, we just apply here this nice algebraic formula. And according to this formula, we break the left hand side as uh, z square plus 2 times of z into 7 plus uh, b square so b is 7 square is equals to z square and now we move this z square into the left hand side and it will be written as z square plus this is 2 times of 7 becomes here 14 times of z plus this is 7 square and 7 square becomes 49 so that here we move this z square into the left hand side and we get this is minus z square is equals to 0 because this is plus z square when we move into the left hand side it will becomes minus z square and you see that this is the minus z square and this is the plus z square are cancelled out by each other and we get here this is 14 times of z plus 49 is equals to 0 and uh, further in the next step because here our target is to find the values of z uh, so that's why we divide both of the sides by 14 because here you have the coefficient of this equation is 14 uh, so when we divide both of the sides by 14 it will be written as 14 z divided by 14 plus 49 divided by 14 is equals to 0 divided by 14 and this 14 is cancelled out by this 14 and we get here z plus this is 49 divided by 14 is equals to 0 divided by 14 becomes here 0 and here we move this uh, 49 to the right hand side and we get the value of z is equals to minus 49 divided by 14 so here we cancel to these two terms with the table of 7 and we get 7 7s are 49 and 7 2s are 14. So we, uh, we easily get the value of uh, z is equals to 7 divided by 2 minus 7 divided by 2 okay because this is a minus sign. So this is the uh, root of the given equation which we get here from first method. And now in the next step we need to verify that is this value of z is satisfied our given question statement or not or in other words we check is this solution or extraneous rule so for verification of the rules we need to copy down given question statement here it is z plus 7 is equals to z and here we substitute the value of z on both of the sides and we check the behavior of this equation so when we put this value here it will becomes minus 7 over 2 plus 7 is equals to minus 7 divided by 2 and now you see here we need to take the lcm into the left hand side and the lcm of this term is 2 and we get here minus 7 plus this is 2 times of 7 becomes 14 is equals to minus 7 divided by 2 after that uh, we have this is minus 7 plus 14 becomes 7 divided by 2 is equals to this is minus 7 divided by 2. So you see here uh, the left hand side is plus 7 divided by 2 right hand side is minus 7 divided by 2. So both of the sides are not equal in general or in other words it is not possible that uh, 
the value of z is equals to minus 7 over 2 is satisfied over this question statement. So this means that uh, if the value of z is not satisfied over a given question statement, so this means that the final uh, solution set of the given question is uh, empty set, okay? Because empty set with a solution and uh, here we call the value of z is equals to minus 7 over 2 be the extraneous root of the given equation. So this is and now here we again solve this problem for second method uh, and in second method uh, we first need to copy down given question statement here it is z plus 7 is equals to z this is the our given question statement and here in the second method i can give you a nice techniques uh, in which you can easily get the uh, you can easily check uh, is this equation has solution or not okay uh, so that uh, here uh, you see that both of these terms involve z so uh, here we move this plus z to the right hand side and it will become 7 is equals to z minus z this is over this z and this plus z becomes here minus z and we have this is z minus z becomes here 0 so here in the second method you clearly see that uh, 7 is equals to 0 uh, is not possible case it is not possible that uh, the value of z is equals to minus 7 over 2 is satisfied over a given question statement so this uh, here uh, in this method we cannot get any values of z so this means that uh, this question has no solution in general okay so this has no solution and this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos